Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, today's topic we're going to be talking about market analysis. Alright, so let's move on to the lesson. Okay, market analysis. Right, so there are basically two major types of market analysis, right? The first one is a technical analysis and the second one is a fundamental analysis, right? So for technical analysis, we are concerned with price action, right? And for fundamental analysis, it's based on economic factors. Which is more important, technical or fundamental analysis? Well, to be a good trader, you need to be good in both. Alright, so first we're going to be talking about fundamental analysis, right? So it's a way of analyzing a currency through the strength or weakness of the country's economy. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Economic, social and political forces are taken into account. Supply and demand determines price. If a country's current or future economic outlook is good, their currency should strengthen and vice versa. The better the outlook, the more foreign business and investors will invest in that country, leading to a need to purchase that country's currency. All right. So basically, fundamental analysis, we are looking at a country's economy, right? the health of the country's economy. All right. So we're looking at economy, you know, we're looking at the, the social factors, we're looking at political factors. Right, supply and demand for the country's currency. All right, so if there are more companies, right, more companies investing in the particular country, the demand for the country's currency will go up, right, because this country, these companies would have to purchase the country's currency. Okay, technical analysis. Right, so in theory, technical analysis, right, we're talking about charts, right? So we use historical price movements to determine the current trading conditions and potential price movement. Technical analysts use charts because they are the easiest way to visualize historical data and past data can help you spot trends and patterns, right? So when we talk about technical analysis, you know, generally people are looking for trends and patterns in the chart right so they are looking for trends and patterns to repeat themselves again and again and again right so for example over here in this in this diagram right so i've drawn this red line over here this red line is actually called a resistance right so resist right it's resisting the price from going up right this line at the bottom here is called a support so it's supporting the price right support so the price can come down Alright, so in this case over here, right, so they're looking at the pattern, right, of the price coming up to the resistance coming down, coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down, coming up, and then coming down, right. So they draw a line there, right, and call it the resistance. So they're looking at the pattern, right, the pattern is that the price comes up to this point, comes down, this point, comes down, this point, comes down, so they join the points together into one line and call it the resistance right so that's basically uh, you know a very simple way of uh, technical analysis okay so what are charts right charts are the graphical plotting of price points giving enhanced visualization right most common price point use is the closing price right so a lot of people talk about closing price right so most of the time when uh, for example in a chart right closing price are plotted Right, a lot of people use uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, moving average. Right, these are the indicators. Right, they plot it against the closing price. Okay, so there are other points as well. We have the open price, the high price, the close price, and the low price. Right, so uh, and it's mostly plotted against the time. Right, time. So on one side you have the price, on the other side you have the Time, all right, so that's the chart. Okay, the three most popular types of charts, the line chart, the bar chart, and the candlestick chart. So let's take a look at these three types of charts. Okay, so line charts. Line charts basically you're just drawing a line from one price point to another price point, right? So the most commonly used price point will be the closing price. So assuming the closing, if let's say this is a H1 line chart, 
or a hourly line chart. So assuming at 1 p.m. closing price, 2 p.m. closing price, 3 p.m. closing price, 4 p.m. closing price. So you get all these price points and then you draw a line to plot, right? So you plot from one price point, one closing price to another closing price, one closing price to another closing price. So that's how you get a line chart. These were the very, very first charts, I believe, right? Very basic types of charting. Okay, next we have the bar charts. Right, so bar charts shows us the open and closing price as well as the high and low. So in, a, in one time period, so for example, if this is an hourly chart, each bar is one hour. Right, so in one hour, we know what's the opening price, what's the closing price, what was the highest price it reached within this hour and what was the lowest price it went to within this hour. So these are all the information in one bar. Right, so this is how a bar looks like, one individual bar, you look from the previous chart, right? So these are all made up of individual bars, so this is what one bar looks like. Where the open price on the left side, always on the left side, the open price, and then on the right side will be the close price. Then you have the high and the low, right? So the price can open here and close here, right? High, low, right? So open on the left, close on the right always and then finally we have the candlestick chart right so candlestick basically it gives us the same information as the bar chart you have the open you have the close you have the high and the low as well right the only difference is that there is a candle body right they call this the candle body and then you can change the color of the candle body so this is for better and easier visualization so one look at the candle you know whether is it a bull candle or a bear candle, right? Bull candle means the price was moving upwards during this time period. Bear candle means the price was moving downwards during this time period, right? Or rather, the price closed higher than the open, right? For a bear candle, the price closed lower than the open, okay? So in one bar, right, one bar is basically made up of smaller bars right so in this case let's assume this is a daily candle one day right so this big candle signifies one day and then if you zoom down to a smaller time frame this could be the candles in maybe the m15 time frame right m15 time frame that means each candle is worth 50, each, each candle takes 15 minutes to form so this is one day right so the price open here right so maybe the price open here it went up a little bit and then it came down to the lowest point of the day and then it went slowly upwards, upwards, up to the highest point over here, came down a bit and then finally went up to close over here. So this is, uh, you know, this makes up one candle, one, one daily candle. But what happened during the day, they are made up by smaller candles, all right? Okay, so this concludes today's uh, topic on, uh, right, this concludes today's topic on market analysis, right, and in the next topic, we're going to be talking about types of orders, all right, so I'll see you in the next video, bye.